Well, it definitely has become one of our favorite places. Now, I've been spending quite a bit of time with Boris. Now, Boris is the crocodile that's been living in Twin Dams. And this is one of the reasons I think Boris moved out. That's Vlad, Vladimir the Impaler. Uh, there we go. Vlad is quite a lot bigger than Boris. Boris is about two and a half meters. I would say Vlad's about three and a half meters, probably having a couple of hundred kilograms extra weight. And uh, Boris has decided that Vlad might eat him, so he's moved on. That is a, a very large crocodile for this part of the Sabi Sands. Again, it looks to be a male. It's quite, quite difficult um, without having to see the head front on. I'm just basing on the, the neck and head head shape. So females tend to be a bit skinnier around the neck, and also their heads not quite as wide, even if they're the same length. So. I know there are females here. I was chatting to Armand, who's the, one of the guides from Chitwa, and he said at one stage there were, there were six crocodiles that they knew about in the dam. So that means we've only ever seen, or the most I've ever seen here is one, so I'm sure there's others. Now, on a nice cool morning like this, there's a leopard close by to us. monkey's alarm calling just behind us. Now, unfortunately, that's a spot where we don't have signal at the moment, but hopefully whatever kitty cat that is, is gonna move towards us. Now, we've been tracking two, two uh, <laughs> so many lion names, I'm getting confused, two Birmingham boys. They unfortunately crossed out of Chitwa Chitwa. Now, there's a road that runs down there. Those lines, I suppose it could also be lines. The lines might have looped around. Could be Tundi, could be Tingana. Exciting stuff. Definitely want to go have a look there. Let's just have a quick look around the, the water hole before I scoot off. And here we go, there's some hippos. Oh. Now Sarah is wondering, will the crocodile spend most of its life in, in this in this water hole? I, it's possible, Sarah. Uh, it all it really all depends on water fluctuations and availability of females. Now look, those impala have heard the monkeys. See, that monkey is saying, be careful, be careful, and now these impala are staring in that direction. Okay, no, too much going on. I think we have to go check. 